Hey YouTube, Beer Table 55 here. Uh, the and today uh, talk a little bit about uh, different distributions. I'm also gonna review one. Uh, about four or five years ago, I made a video. I think it was called Linux Family Tree, where I listed three main families of uh, Linux distributions. Those being uh, Debian, Red Hat and Slackware. Uh, for example, Linux Mint and Ubuntu are, are Debian derivatives. Uh, Fedora, Scent, uh, PC Linux OS are all uh, Red Hat derivatives. SUSE is a Slackware derivative. Uh, however, if I were to make that if I were to remake that video today, I'd have to add two more families. I'd have to add uh, Gen2 and the one I'm going to talk about today, or, or derivative I'm going to talk about today, which is uh, Arch. Uh, and specifically Manharo. I believe that's how it's pronounced, Linux. Now, Arch Linux has a reputation of being fast, powerful, configurable uh, but it also has a reputation of being for intermediate or advanced users meaning that if you want to set up an arch system you can't be afraid of the terminal and you better know something about uh, bash scripting or at least be prepared to learn it uh, in spite of that, or maybe because of it, Arch, uh, a, a very robust, very loyal, and very knowledgeable community has grown up around Arch. And what the folks at, uh, at Manharo have done is they've, uh, they've tapped into that community and they've created a distribution that is uh, easy to install and really easy for a beginner to get into an Arch distribution. Now I believe Manharo is still in going by the version number of uh, 0.8.10 pre-1 uh, it's still a probably beta I guess would be fair to say maybe even alpha but in all fairness, given that this is, uh, they've got this version, this pre-release, it's pretty polished, and uh, you know, and I'll talk about the graphical installer <laughs> is just as easy to use as uh, as Linux Mint or, uh, or or Ubuntu's installer, so. Now, I've been playing around with this. This is not the default icon set or theme that you would see uh, in, uh, in, in Manharo. Uh, and, I'm, and this particular edition, uh, it, it's, I'm using a Cinnamon desktop. Manharo itself comes in, uh, you know, from their development team, officially supported flavors. Uh, I believe that comes in an LXDE, uh, a GNOME shell, uh, an XFCE, and I think maybe KDE versions. Uh, Mate and Cinnamon uh, editions are available through their community. I'm trying Cinnamon out because of the Cinnamon edition because I really like the Cinnamon desktop. And I found that, you know, uh, the, that you know it being cinnamon it's pretty much as just as configurable and just as easy to use as uh, as Linux Mint's uh, or the, the Linux Mint cinnamon edition that, that I've been used to using uh, as far as software that the distribution comes with uh, again this is like I said, this is beta, so uh, where other distributions would give you uh, GIMP 
right. doesn't come with a lot of graphic software it does come with LibreOffice out of the box uh, it does come with uh, it does it does come with VLC media player and it comes with all the codecs this did pass the uh, the YouTube test uh, for internet it comes with Firefox I have installed Google Chrome and uh, it but uh, it comes with Firefox and hex chat and it comes with these uh, a Javi VNC server browser and a Javi SSH browser I think also an, uh, another a Javi thing but I'm not real familiar with that with those two particular pieces of software uh, as far as software installation goes uh, I was a little bit surprised when I found that it didn't come already with Samba installed I had to uh, I had to install that uh, from the, from their repositories. Now again, I'm I, I'm used to uh, Debian derivatives, so you know my first my first instinct uh, when it comes to installing software is either to fire up Synaptic or fire up the terminal, and, you know, and go into terminal and type you know app dash get install whatever uh, Cinnamon doesn't work that way uh, because it's arch derived it uses the I believe the basic pa package manager's, manager is called Pac-Man uh, Cinnamon has a front end for that or not Cinnamon but Manharo I should say Manharo has a uh, has a front end for that uh, I'll show you that Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I mean their package man it, it you know it's pretty it it's uh, fairly straightforward. I installed uh you know I just did a search for Samba and I checked this. This is their uh this will also search their user uh, uh Arch's user repositories along with their official repositories. And uh, you know, here's everything that is related to Samba, and I've got I've gone ahead and I've installed it, and uh, I've got my sharing uh, my sharing up and going. So again, I hope when the uh, you know when this comes out of beta or whatever, and uh, you know for you know actual. I guess distribution or or an actual production edition version one, I should say. Hopefully, Manharo will include uh, Samba in the basic toolkit. Uh, but that's uh, that's neither here nor there. So, final verdict: uh, Manharo Linux. Uh, one of their goals is. To come up with an Arch distribution that's uh, beginner friendly, I think they've, from what I can see here, uh, they've they have succeeded. Uh, I look forward to trying. Uh, this is a rolling. Re uh, uh, Manharo uses a rolling release mo uh, model, so uh, you know, one day, hope you know, I'll I'll fire up the update manager and. Uh, and it'll, and it'll update itself to version one, uh, hopefully. But I think they've succeeded in and in, in created uh, a distribution that's approachable for uh, for a beginner, an arch distribution that's uh, approachable for a beginner, I should say. So uh, keep an eye on it and uh, and enjoy. Well, this is BR Tipple 55. Thanks for watching.